Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Today the Church keeps the feast of John Coleridge Patterson and of his companions. He was the first Bishop of Melanesia. He was also the first Martyr of Melanesia. We give thanks for his life, for his service, for his fellowship. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom the <coughs> secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The saints were faithful unto death and now dwell in the heavenly kingdom forever. As we celebrate their joy, let us bring to the Lord our sins and weaknesses and ask for his mercy. We are often slow to follow the example of Christ. Lord have mercy. We often fail to be known as Christ's disciples. Christ have mercy. We often fail to walk the way of the cross. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you your sins, and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of all tribes and peoples and tongues, who called your servant John Covid Patterson to witness in life and death to the Gospel of Christ among the peoples of Melanesia, grant us to hear your call to service and to respond trustfully and joyfully to Jesus Christ our Redeemer, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens open from the Son of Man, standing at the right hand of God. But the high priest and the council covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. This is the word of the Lord. The response to verses of the 16th Psalm, you will show me the path of life. You will show me the path of life. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, and upon those who are noble in heart. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup, in your hands alone is my fortune. You will show me the path of life. My share has fallen in a fair land, and indeed I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. You will show me the path of life. I have set the Lord always before me, he is at my right hand, and I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad, and my spirit rejoices, my flesh also shall rest secure. You will show me the path of life. Alleluia, alleluia, whoever would follow me, 
Let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Jesus began to teach his disciples that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed. And after three days, rise again. He said all this quite openly. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. For you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. This is the gospel of the Lord. The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Today, we keep the feast of somebody we probably never heard of. He was a schoolboy at Eton when he came under the influence of the curate of Windsor, a man called George Selwyn, who went off to be the first bishop of New Zealand. And fired by Selwyn's example, he in his turn was ordained and at 28 went off to be the first bishop of Melanesia in the South Pacific, where he worked to bring the faith to the locals, and where he was killed in a revenge killing for the abduction by slavers of some young men on an island. His example is obvious and clear. But the story raises a question to us. Why go? Why evangelize? Why try to spread the good news? And the answer is surely not simply to tick a box and obey a command. Go. Make disciples of all nations. We've got to do it to keep Jesus happy. We've got to invent strategies. We've got to obey a command. If it's just that, surely the reason's inevitable. And it isn't either, as increasingly it seems to be in an ever more panicked Church of England. Because we're short of backsides on seats. And if we don't, we're worried about the future. And bishops are worried about who is going to pay their quota. And so on and so on. That's an even worse reason on its own for evangelism. Surely evangelism can only work if it's the result of Christians wanting what is best for other people, from their own experience, wanting to offer what matters most to each of us, to offer it knowing that it's their choice, that they have every right to decline, and that given that most people decline what Jesus himself was offering during the Incarnation, there may be a great many people who aren't interested. But nonetheless, wanting to share with others what matters most to us. The Jesus whose service is perfect freedom. What it comes down to then is love. In Jesus we saw love to be self-giving, something that offers itself freely to the beloved. It doesn't force itself, that makes demands that can be declined. His love 
is to be ours. To him with the Father and the Holy Spirit be praise and glory, now and forever. Amen. By shedding his blood was Christ gathered together a new people. From every corner of the earth, let us pray to him. Lord, graciously hear us. Christ, our Redeemer, be mindful of your church across the world. In our communion, we pray for the church in the Falkland Islands, for its bishop, clergy, and people. In our diocese, for Martin, our bishop, William, and for Ruth, his South Africans, the parishes of Ernley with West Wittering and our Mondington, for Father Steve Davis, and all who worship in those places. And on this feast we give thanks for John Coleridge Patterson and his companions and pray for the church in our own day in Melanesia. Lord in your mercy, Christ our King, may the whole world come to know your love. We pray on this feast for peace in the Pacific, especially in the South China Sea, for our Sovereign Lady the Queen, for her family and for all active in public life and service in this land. For peace where there is strife. Continuing to pray for Afghanistan, for the Yemen, for Ethiopia. And for justice wherever there is oppression, especially in Myanmar and Belarus, across China. We continue to pray for the forces of the crown, presently on active service, for their families, for the lands in which they serve. Lord, in your mercy, Christ, our joy and strength, sustain us and those we know and love. Our parish partnership, we pray for St. Andrews, the Father David King and his people. We pray in this parish for all the years of the church buildings. Lord, in your mercy, Christ, our strength and solace, be with the suffering and needy, the those persecuted, for your name's sake. Those infected in and affected by the pandemic, and all who serve their needs of body, mind, and spirit. Those afflicted by natural disaster by accident. And by name, with Elaine Fletcher, Joe Mayhew, Edward Pinkney, Andrew Holland, Sophie Barnard, Janet Bedford, Rosalind Upton, Susan Vine, John Stevens, Philip Gorman, Lauren Greer, and Lindsay Murray. There's also today Jen Bulch and Olive Bennett, and those whose needs we bear on our own hearts. Lord, in your mercy, Christ our heaven, boy, we give thanks for all your saints. Remember those who have gone before us on the path to eternal life, among whom we pray for Morris Clark, priest, and Gerald Garbett, priest. Rest eternal grant them, O Lord and let light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy. Lord Christ, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you for your love's sake. Amen. We do not presume to come to this, your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Once we were far off, but now we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. 
peace of the Lord be always with you. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of salvation. Accept our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving for the praise and glory of your name, for our good, and for the good of all your holy church. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. You are worthy of our thanks and praise, Lord God of truth. For by the breath of your mouth you have spoken your word, and all things have come into being. You fashioned us in your image and placed us in the garden of your delight. Though we chose the path of rebellion, you would not abandon your own. Again and again you drew us into your covenant of grace. You gave your people the law and taught us by your prophets to look for your reign of justice mercy and peace. As we watch for the signs of your kingdom on earth, we echo the song of the angels in heaven, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord God, you are the most holy one, enthroned in splendour and light. Yet, in the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ, you reveal the power of your love, made perfect in our human weakness. Embracing our humanity, Jesus showed us the way of salvation. Loving us to the end, he gave himself to death for us. Dying for his end, he set us free from the bonds of sin, that we might rise and reign with him in glory. On the night he gave up himself for us all, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. Gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, we proclaim the death that he suffered on the cross. We celebrate his resurrection, his bursting from the tomb. We rejoice that he reigns at your right hand on high, and we long for his coming in glory. As we offer this one perfect sacrifice of our redemption, Father, by your Holy Spirit, let these gifts of your creation be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
Form us into the likeness of Christ and make us a perfect offering in your sight. Look with favour on your people and in your mercy hear the cry of our hearts. Bless the earth, heal the sick, let the oppressed go free and fill your church with power from on high. Gather your people from the ends of the earth to feast with St. Mary the Virgin, St. George the Great Martyr, with John Colbert Patterson and his companions and with all your saints. At the table in your kingdom where the new creation is brought to perfection in Jesus Christ God. By whom, <coughs> by whom and with whom and in whom. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father. Forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his son. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you. Take and eat this in remembrance that he died and rose again for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith, with thanksgiving.
God, who gave us this holy meal in which we have celebrated the glory of the cross and the victory of your martyrs, John Govich Paris and his companions. By our communion with Christ in his saving death and resurrection, grant us with all your saints the courage to conquer evil and so to share the fruit of the tree of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. God give you grace to follow his sins in faith and hope and love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.